that, Georgie. And we're going to who's going to intro the women's 800 A race. And this is a loaded field, and I think the race will be over before we say everything about them. So lane one, Joe Cubis, New South Wales. Lane two, Abby Delamotte. Lane three, Jemima Russell. Four, Sarah Billings. Five, Keely Small. Six, Brittany McGowan. Seven, Georgia Griffiths. Eight, Carly Thomas. Nine, Katrina Anderson. And ten, Zoe Brito Bradapule. <sighs> And you just and won the race for the fastest yeah, that, introduction tonight, Lyndon. Well done. With our pacemaker leading Hyam the way. I'm taking the pace out for the girls. So she trains with a lot of these girls, so she'll be used to doing this with them. But Georgia Griffiths is uh, getting on her tail as much as she can. And Georgia's the only one in the field who owns a Commonwealth Games A qualifier, but there's a handful of girls with B qualifiers in that race, including Britt McGowan, who's right behind her. And she, uh, they both ran world championships this year, so they've got really good race experience. Um, but Abby Delamotte also owns a B qualifier who's just on McGowan's shoulder there. Um, further back, we've also got Jemima Russell, who has, owns a world junior qualifier, as does Carly Thomas of New South Wales, who is our Commonwealth Youth Champion. Um, but Abby hits the front as Caroline pulls off, uh, with Georgia right on her tail. So Hold Abby does seem to be Keely making Small. a bit of a move, Lyndon. Up the back past the discus cage with Georgia Griffiths, not too far away. So Abby had a very strong run in race one of Miles Club. I remember winning the uh, A race for 800 metres, so there is a bit of a gap. Britt McGowan, not too far away, who is our winner of the 1500 at Zadapec. And as we know from that run, all only strong at the end with a big kick, so don't rule her out just yet. But Georgia looking to make the move around Abby right now with Keely Small coming as well. So Keely Small up on the shoulder, Georgia Griffith right there as well. Britt McGowan coming up on the outside. Is she? She's still probably a bit behind Keely. It looks Georgia, like Georgia Griffith starting though. to pull away from Keely Small and. Abby's making a move past Britt on the inside there. But George is going to hold on for the win, about 2.02, which is pretty impressive for this time of year, I'd say. And just a smidge, 0.2 of a second off that Commonwealth Games B qualifier. So very yeah, impressive running. So again, running. not far off her PB, which is um, pretty impressive in December and um, after the interruptions in the weather we've had tonight. So it's always great to see some of our top men and women athletes in the country compete in our Miles Club races and that was just an example of that so many class athletes in that race there and it didn't disappoint yeah there's almost too much happening it was hard to there were so many things I could have said about <laughs> everyone in the race doesn't help that half of them are my training partners <laughs> you want to be nice to everyone give everyone a mention so yeah well liked at training I guess yeah. but George is looking pretty pleased with herself there big smile on the face Going head to head. And uh, we're joined in the box for this one with Luke Matthews. But before that, we're going to throw over to Georgie down the track block. Yes, we are. So, Georgie, Georgia I think you've Georgia. got Georgia down there on the track. Take it away. So I'm down here with Georgia Griffith of Box Hill, who's just taken out the women's A800 metres. Going into a field, four girls with Com Games qualifiers. Georgia's currently the only one with an A qualifier. Few girls in that race that don't get beaten very often. How you feel? What are you thinking? Um, really happy. Yeah, it's sort of you always aren't um, not entirely sure, like sort of first race up against everyone. But I was really pleased. It was um, great having such like all the girls who are going to be racing this season. Such a stacked race. It was really. Yeah, lots of fun. <laughs> so you've done 20256 unofficially, which is really close to another qualifier for you with uh, 2024 is the B qualifier. Were you going into this race as a tactical race? Are you going in um, aiming for a good time? Um, I think definitely I went in with the aim to try and run a good time. I said if I ran around 23, I'd be really happy. So 22, I'm yeah, really happy with that. For this time of season, yeah. <laughs> Good, and keeping in mind the conditions tonight as well, I think it's something that's really impressive. So looking forward to what you can do for the rest of the season and looking forward to the Com Games as well. Thanks, Georgia. No worries, thank you. <laughs> Back to you, Lockie. 